I'm Sherry, and I will be hosting this episode of Club Genetic Games, and the game today is the game of Mao. Mao way. Ha ha ha. Here are my friends to help me break it down. Before you start, make sure you have two 52 card decks. Now let's go over the objectives. One, get rid of all the cards in your hand. Two, be the person with the least amount of points at the end of the game. Three, be the winner. Wait, how do I win the game? As each round is played, players will eventually reach 200 points. If so, they are kicked out of the game and will watch the others play until the last player is standing who is then declared the winner. Take out all the numbers less than 7 and the jokers in both decks. You should have left the 7, 8, 9, 10, jack, queen, king, and ace. A jack is a wild card. This may be used at any time and does not need to match the previous suit played. Do not be caught with a jack in your hand at the end of the game because it's worth 20 points. But if the jack is played as last card, it doubles everyone else's points at the end. Boo for everyone else. The queen acts as a draw two card for the next player. But if the next player has a queen and plays it, that player does not pick up two cards and defers it to the next player. If that player has a queen, then it defers to the next player. But if that player does not have a queen, that player must pick up two cards for every queen played. Also, if the queen is played at the last card, that next player must pick up two cards before determining how many points they have. On the ace is played, the next player's turn is skipped. Well, there you have it, folks. Now, you can call Mao and that means that you're telling the whole group that you think that you're going to win. And if you do win, you're doubling everyone else's points at the end of the game. But if you lose, you're doubling your own points at the end of the game. Mao can only be called to the group within the first three rounds of play during that game. Now we're ready to play. Let's shuffle the cards and deal out seven cards per player. Now that everyone has their cards, the person left to the dealer plays first. Well, let's play the queen first. That's a draw two card. Let's see what Pigtail plays next. Two queens in a row. Does Plaid have a queen? Will I need to draw four cards? Gosh darn it. Boo, he doesn't. But I can still play. Bam! Oh, what a comeback with an ace. Skip Sherry. And an eight of clubs from Fuzz. King of clubs from pigtails. Did Plaid change his mustache? King of spades. Sherry matches with an eight of spades. And an easy play with seven of spades from Fuzz. Smooth sailing with a nine of spades. Whoa, Plaid with an ace, skip Sherry. Hearts. Fuzz with the big cards, we change to hearts. No problem, 10 of hearts for pigtails. Phew, eight of hearts. Sneaky move with a draw two queen. Oh no, she doesn't have a queen. Draw two. Still playing, playing with seven of hearts. She tells with a nine of hearts. And plaid with a nine of diamonds. What? A wild card? Spades. Looks like Fuss doesn't have any spades left. Draw one card. And pig tells with a skip. Is there anything she can't do? Sherry sure, plays an eight of spades. It's getting heated up in here. Ah, another draw from Fuzz. No spades. And what Pigtail sneaks up and wins with the jack? She just doubled everyone's points. Keep track of your points and have fun playing them out. If you need help or have questions, you can refer to our how-to and rules and regulations that we'll provide to you. Please subscribe to our channel and like and comment our videos. We want to know how much you're having fun. Stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you soon.